Hi everyone, my name is Jalisa. This is Green Mabel, and if this is your first time here, I wanna welcome you. I am so excited to finally speak about croton propagations. The best way for me to show you how to do a croton propagation is to actually do one on camera. Now I will admit I have tried water propagations in the past and I have not been successful with them but I have been successful with soil propagations. So the first thing you'll want to have, of course, is a very beautiful croton. Here is the croton magnificent. Uh, some of the materials you will need is sphagnum peat moss, earthworm castings, a pot that is four inches, and shears. The first thing you'll want to do is to open your shears and sanitize them using alcohol or in my case I, I will use apple cider vinegar. You'll want to make sure that you sanitize your shears really well to protect contamination at the stem, at the leaf. So next thing you want to do now that you have your shears cleaned you're going to take a piece of the stem and just cut it. So I'm going to come right here right above this last uh, this one, two, three, four, five, okay. So I'm gonna come right here, and I'm just going to, oh, there we go, it's cut. All right, so here we have the cutoff croton. So you're going to take some of the leaves off, starting with the bottom. All right, so now I have three leaves removed. So, whether or not you want to move, remove these is optional, but let's say for the sake of what's happening with us doing the propagation, I'm just going to go ahead and remove it too. Because the more leaves you try to propagate together, the better, because not all of these leaves are going to produce roots. So you want to have plenty of options. So I'm going to take this one off too, and that will give us four single leaves. So I'm going to put the peat moss in here like so. All right, so now that I've added some peat moss in here, I'm gonna add some of the worm castings as well. And just to kind of sprinkle it in there. So that way you got the worm castings in here pretty good. And what the worm castings are going to do is they're gonna provide a little bit extra nourishment for the peat moss. All right, so now I'm going to take the leaves and I'm going to just place them right in the soil. All right, so you'll want them to be snug in here as much as possible. Now for the last one, the stem. So I'm gonna place this down in here as much as possible, like all the way down. You wanna put it almost all the way down to the bottom. So this was my very first croton leaf propagation. And now, on camera, I'm going to show you all the roots because I have not looked at the roots yet. So here are the leaves from this original croton that was a taller stem, but I cut the leaves off. So let's see what they look like. <laughs> a croton. You grew crotons from single leaves and look, they all took root on their own. Look at these gorgeous roots. That is amazing. I just think that this is so amazing. So here it is, and there's the roots. Oh, there we go. All right. And last but not least, I want to show you all these other two propagations that I did. Not all propagations are successful. Here is one that was not successful, although it started appearing as though it was but it did not work so here we just have a dead stem um and here is another dead stem so sometimes they work sometimes they don't but here's a stem that did work and we're going to find the roots on it and look at that Hey guys, I almost forgot to mention where I place my crotons once I have propagated them. I place them outside and in this location they receive bright morning sun that is gentle and bright enough for them to receive the nutrients from the sun that is necessary to facilitate growth 
but not harsh to where it will harm the plant. So place them outside in a nice sunny eastern location and that will help your plant to develop. Now back to the video. So I love crotons as you know and I am so excited to share my uh, my joy for growing plants, growing crotons with you all. I hope that you all found this video helpful. This is the croton that, uh, this was my first croton soil propagation. This was my first stem propagation that was successful. And here, these new ones that we just did are the new propagations that we are currently trying. So if you are not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you can get updates about these new propagations. Will they work? Will they not? Only time will tell. So be sure to subscribe and find out. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jaleesa. This has been Green Maple. And if you would like to follow us on Instagram, be sure to follow us at Green Maple. Bye now.